constructed a door that'll allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. You got it. Hey, what can you tell me about the Zen invasion? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and the brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. We need to stop the Zin from getting the rest. Once you're free from the simulation, I can sever your connection to the Zin Matrix. This will allow me to retrieve your body here in the real world without you suffering permanent brain damage. So, so where am I in the real world? They ain't doing nothing to my body, are they? It's... in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. Hey, Kizzy, the door's locked. Wrong door. Oh, good job. That didn't go terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. No, you're not. Kinsey.
is this place? I swear every time I come home, it's all, what'd you bring me? How come I never go on anywhere? Hey, there's a human! On your way, Kinsey. Given the high volume of abductees, we are experiencing unusual delays in processing projects 3 through 8. Your patience is appreciated. All soldiers are high alert. Abductees are notorious for ill fated fingertips. Permission is granted to shoot. Knock yourself out. Hold up. You saved Keith David before me? I, uh, passed by him on the way out. Hey, how'd you get out? Uh, let's just focus on flying, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Kenzie, this ain't got a radio? Radio signals bounce around... 
shit, yeah. That's that song I was reading. Really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking the fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. I always thought Nightblade was just vampire show. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm. Probably tell Marketer. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail? You want me to leave a message? Oh, it's all gone. Well, I'd say this was a productive day. You're a fucking monster. Oh, don't act surprised. I told you this would happen. You killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinyak plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zin security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends... And find Zinyak. Yeah. Right. Let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation, and the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history, Johnny Gat. But ever as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. Super 